Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're interviewing Justin Frank, the Chief of Strategy, Sustainability and Communications at SUS. Justin, thank you so much for your time today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about what sustainability means at SUS? Well, Suez is an environmental services company. Uh, we operate in 130 countries worldwide with about 90,000 employees, focusing on wastewater treatments, water filtration, resource recovery, and smart city solutions. Sustainability is really at the heart of everything we do. It's our, our raison d'etre, uh, our purpose, if you like. So our purpose is to shape a sustainable environment now, and it's fundamentally why I joined the business, uh, so I can provide a future for my four-year-old uh, that holds the same opportunities that I've had in terms of enjoying the planet and, and nature and the natural resources that we have. Mm. We, we treat uh, water, Sydney for example, we treat roughly 85% of Sydney's drinking water, uh, we recycle materials and we dispose of those materials that can't be recycled in a, in a safe manner. Uh, so really, say, sustainability runs through the heart of everything we do, but it's much broader than just um, environmental. It's broader CSR and, and ESG. So really uh, working with the communities that we operate in um, to provide social impact as well, uh, and really working on diversity and inclusive activities within the business from uh, within in Suez work streams that we have in the Diversity and Inclusion Council, but also our reconciliation stream uh, our well-being stream and our LGBTQI plus stream as well. It's incredible. And you're also working towards being carbon neutral by 2050. This is yes, a massive initiative. So how are you planning on achieving this goal? And do you have any other projects that you'd like to share with us as well? Yeah, so we have a fair few sustainability targets. So uh, you've mentioned the 2050 target of being carbon neutral. Uh, we're also looking to reduce our carbon emissions by 45%. Um, by 2030. And we have a broad uh, sustainable development roadmap, which encompasses all of the CSR factors that we've, uh, we've talked about. So it has our, our greenhouse gases emissions, trying to reduce our customers' greenhouse gas emissions as well, but also trying to protect the biodiversity around the, the sites that we work in and operate in and the communities we operate in. Uh, the inclusive and diversity piece that I've talked about before, so really trying to increase the amount of women in leadership within Suez, but also the overall uh, participation of females in the business and making it a really inclusive environment for, for anyone, no matter what your background is. Um, we really believe that um, diversity is uh, having a ticket to the party, but inclusion is, is really being made to feel welcome. And we want to create an environment where anyone's thoughts are, are welcomed and their ideas are given oxygen to breathe. So we can create an innovative um, culture for our, for our teams to continue to develop on uh, the history and, and the background of Suez and coming up with new uh, ways of doing things and new technologies to make the planet a better place. I love what you said about inclusion, uh, making you feel welcome at the party. I'm going to use that. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, you run major infrastructure like desalination and filtration plants, recycling, processing and disposal facilities. So. Are you looking at running these on renewables in the near future? And also, how do you guys ensure that your business goals do line up with your sustainability goals? Well, there's a few questions in there. Yeah, firstly, we're, we're striving to, to move towards uh, more renewables in, in the way that we power our facilities. Uh, that's not always possible. Um, some of the uh, detail plants, as an example, are very energy hungry um, and they need stable energy supply in order to treat the water in order to, to uh, deliver the, the essential service of water and drinking water to the populations. Uh, but we are looking to um, move uh, into solar in certain locations where we can power up to 20% of our office buildings on, on and sites on solar. So that's a project that's well underway. And we've just agreed to move uh, towards a green energy for our energy supply as well. So that's actually cost more money. Uh, we've made savings elsewhere and, and rather than banking those savings, we are reinvesting them into more sustainable energy supply uh, through our energy provider uh, from a green tariff. So certainly down the eastern seaboard, we're, we're looking to switch towards uh, green energy. Um, we've still got a little bit of work to do in, in one state, but we'll, we'll get there. 
Well, it's very clear to me, and you have also mentioned that sustainability clearly is at the heart of every single decision that you make, you know, taking out profits and putting it back into the earth. So thank you so much for that. So what is it that your customers can expect or are looking for when it comes to sustainability? Yeah, our customers, big and small, are, are really uh, getting on board with the sustainable development movement. Uh, our value proposition is, is built on four, uh, five pillars, sorry, uh, with an underlying foundation as well. So our value proposition is about shaping a, a better quality of life, uh, really providing those essential services and access to those essential services while drinking water. Um, shaping a, a better planet, so by reducing consumption of resources. Um, shaping a better climate by reducing the greenhouse gases emissions, uh, as discussed. Uh, shaping a more circular economy, so reusing um, materials uh, and water, wastewater to do better things with. And then shaping with local partners, so really anchoring the work that we do in the local communities, providing jobs, social impact. So customers are looking for that holistic sustainability approach that covers more than just one thing. Our largest uh, municipal uh, or, or council co um, customers and state governments, they're really looking for ways to make cities more livable. You know, cities represent 2% uh, of the, the, the Earth's population, 50% uh, of the, the world's, um, sorry, 2% of the world's surface, 50% of the world's population, roughly 75% of the, uh, the world's energy consumption uh, and produce 80% of the world's greenhouse gases. So they really are um, a critical part of the, the solution into uh, improving the planet. So they're looking for ways to reduce uh, floods risks. They're, they're looking for ways to reduce drought risks, heat island effects. They're looking for ways to um, over reduce overall consumption, uh, whether that's smart meters um, in, in water consumption. So all those things are, are, are critical. Uh, another good example of the circular economy at, at work is, is our work globally with Samsonite and our global partnership with Leon Del Basil, where we are taking uh, waste plastics, so bottles and yogurt pots. Uh, we're processing them into, into flakes, and then they're being used as a raw material to manufacture a suitcase, so the new Samsonite uh, fully recycled suitcase. So that's just another very new and, and clear example of how we can take something that was a waste and turn it into something that is now useful. Very, very cool. I'll have to get myself one of them. Have they been released yet? <laughs> they're, they're released in Europe, yes. Wonderful. Justin, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's evident that you do really care. I mean, you said that you've got a four-year-old. I've got a two-year-old myself. So, you know, I think having a child really makes you wonder what it's going to be like for them in the future. So everything that you're doing and everything the company is doing is so amazing. So thank you. And if anyone at home has no any comments, you please pop them in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you because um, this is such an important topic that uh, we really want more businesses to care about. Absolutely. Thank you very much for the opportunity. See you. Thank you. Okay.